What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. As I stated in my Instagram story yesterday, it is time for an updated custom collection video. As you can see here, my entire ring is full of my custom slash fix-ups. I have about 72 here. Not all of them are in the ring. You can see that 10 to 12 of them have spelt out to the outsides because they wouldn't all fit in the ring. And I wasn't about to cram all my customs into the ring. So I have about 33 more Cena custom slash fix-ups that are in my John Cena collection with about 50 or so Cenas and I did not want to include those in this video individually so if you want to see the, my John Cena customs you can go to my John Cena collection video which there is a link in the description below to go watch that I may do an overview shot of them like I've done in the past but I'm not going to go through those individually because there is a whole video dedicated to just that but what I'm going to do is empty out the ring here and then show you each individual custom slash fix up one by one showing you you know what parts were used who made it all that good stuff I know that I have a bunch of customs in here from Showstopper Custom Figs, Best in the World, BW Animations, Brock Lock, and a bunch of random people on Instagram. So, you know, it's a lot of customs, so bear with me. It may be 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even a little longer. So let's, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get into the total custom collection, guys, here's an overview of my scenes. As I said, there are about 33 custom ones that are in here. But you can go to my John Cena collection video to check all of these out individually. Very, very nice collection. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. But now we will get into my custom collection. Alright guys, starting it out first, we have this updated custom Elite Rusev made by BEW Animations. At least he did the head, which is the main part. I did the rest of it, which is a TNF Elite Rusev body with Bo Dallas lower legs and switch. I switched out the knee pads and boots to give me an updated Rusev. Looks very, very nice. Very happy to have that Rusev. Here we have an updated Elite Randy Orton fix up with the new head scan and then the hoodie thrown on a best of pay per view, I believe, Randy Orton with an arm swap with the Elite 35 to give it the bigger arms and then a hand swap to give him the updated tape. I do need to switch out the knee pads though, very behind on that. Here we have an Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler fix up with a head and arm swap as well as a shirt and world heavyweight title. I think that looks really, really good. Next we have this Custom Elite Chris Benoit by Barancho Bacho Customs, I believe, or something like that. Sorry if I butchered the name, but the for real looks really, really nicely on the tights. I love the yellow attire, and it brings back a lot of memories with that custom. Next, we have an updated Elite Neville. Not really. I didn't mean to say updated, but it is a fix-up Neville. I put John Cena biceps with Elite Neville lower arms. I think it looks really nicely. I think they used two small of arms for Neville. Neville is jacked, and I don't think they give him enough credit in his Elite. Here we have a SummerSlam 2016 Elite Custom Dolph Ziggler by Showstopper Custom Figs. Love this figure a lot. I know we're getting it in basic form, but I am very glad to have it in Elite. You know, you know I am a big Ziggler mark. Here we have a Team Extreme Lita Custom made by Showstopper Custom Figs as well. This is one of two Diva Customs in this video, both of which are Lita, so that's nice. Up next, we have this Extreme Rules 2016 Dolph Ziggler. Love this attire a lot. When he wore this, I totally marked out. But it even has the custom shirt that he wore during that match with Baron Corbin, as well as the ponytail tie with the pink. I think this custom is really, really awesome. It was made by Matt Alexander, who sadly I have not heard from in a long time. I hope he's all right. And um, it also came, he made me this uh, jacket that he wore during his entrance as well. I think this looks really nice. It's the Cody Rhodes Elite Vest hoodie thing and then up next we have these elite custom young bucks you guys have seen these a few times on my channel I love these a lot even have the custom fringe shirts on there the bullet club decals on there as well as the fringe at the bottom of the pants and I made these myself I'm pretty proud of these um, I can't paint but I can do a little bit so that's probably all I can do and then we have this custom 2016 no mercy Dolph Ziggler Love this thing a lot. Made by Showstopper Custom Figs as well. Obviously had to throw the Intercontinental title on there from his match with Miz. I love this attire a lot. The pink really pops and I think it looks really good with the Intercontinental title. Up next we have this Elite Cody Rhodes American Nightmare. It is the Cody Rhodes Elite with a dashing Cody head that I removed the paint off the mustache. Dashing Cody basic arms as well as DX Triple H legs and then swapped the boots on there and put knee pads on it. I think this looks really nice. Removed all the decals off of it. Pretty basic, but I think it works for a 
updated current Cody Rhodes. Up next we have this Adam Cole Custom Elite with John Morrison head. I'd like to do something else for the head scan, but this is a good placeholder for now. It has the custom shirt on there, and it is a Bo Dallas Elite with painted trunks and decals on there as well, with uh, a boot swap and knee pad swap as well, and then some arms with the tattoo on there. Then up next we have this El Generico Custom Elite made by BW Animations. I absolutely love that mask. Looks so incredible. Even has the tassels on there. I think that looks amazing. It's so accurate and so nice. And then he even did the pants as well and has the ole on the butt there. Really dig that custom a lot. And then up next we have some custom elite Team Extreme Hardies made by Showstopper Custom Figs. I know the Jeff head scan is pretty disappointing. We got a bad head cast so it doesn't look as good. But I think the mat is totally killing it. And I think the body for Jeff works pretty good, but um, yeah, that head skin is just trash. Next up, we have this Custom Elite WrestleMania 20 Chris Benoit made by Showstopper Custom Figs with World Heavyweight Title. One of my favorite moments in wrestling history. As sad as Chris Benoit's situation was, this custom is very, very nice, and I love it a lot. Next, we have this updated, fixed up, Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Mattel's was totally trash. They had like maroon pants and like the hair wasn't accurate and it just looked awful. So I got Showstopper to touch it up and make the attire accurate. He even put the blue uh, rubber band that he was wearing on that night on there as well as the hair is sculpted and repainted. And even the World Heavyweight title right here has the red crocodile backing on it. It's very, very nice by Showstopper Custom Figs. Love that figure a lot. Next we have my own custom AJ Styles that I have made. You guys have seen this a lot on my channel because it is the best AJ that I have in my collection. I think this body mold works a lot better. Even have the chest hair and stomach hair penciled in with tattoo. And then I got this hoodie that I got from overseas that looks really good on here. P1 decals on the sides there. It's just a standard AJ attire, but I like that figure a lot. Here is this custom Neville that me and BW Animations made. You guys saw this here lately. This is probably the newest custom on the channel. Still have yet to put the design on the tights, but I dig this custom a lot. I think it looks really, really awesome. And BW absolutely slaughtered this head scan. Very, very nice. Next up, we have another custom that I made, and it is this Elite Sandman with Kendo Stick. Obviously, he has to have his Kendo Stick at all times, but I drew on the barbed wire tattoo and then put a Jack's head scan on a Austin, Stone Cold, Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite body with blue jeans and I think this looks really really nice for Sandman. Next we have this Chad Gable American Alpha Elite Custom. I used a Santino Morella torso and upper legs and repainted the skin tone to match and then put the battle pack battle pack arms and shoulders from the American Alpha battle pack in there and I think this looks really really good. Put some I think Arn Anderson knee pads and then boots on there to make it complete look. I did not realize how many customs I had made until I made this video, but here's another one. It is this Custom Elite Eric Bischoff, and what I did was take the Elite 41 Dean Ambrose and then put the J, &J Security shoulders and arms on here with their jacket as well. The cut job is a little sloppy here, but then I threw a black t-shirt on there, cut the sleeves off, and then threw a Eric Bischoff Jack's head scan on there and repainted that. I really like that Eric Bischoff a lot. Up next, we have another Showstopper Custom Figs custom, and that is this black and white Dolph Ziggler from 2016 with his black and white DZ attire. I really, really like this attire a lot, so I had Showstopper Custom Figs make another Dolph Ziggler. I think you will see probably the most Dolph Ziggler customs in this video that you will ever see. And then this next one is a bit of a disappointment. The custom is really nice, but I am sad that Mattel is making this because now it makes this custom useless. And that is this WrestleMania 21 Custom Elite Batista with World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, it looks pretty much exactly like the figure that is coming out, which is sad. I thought I would be one of the only ones with this figure. But now they are releasing it to the public. But Matt Alexander, the one that made the Extreme Rules 2016 Dolph Ziggler, is the one that made that for me. But... Really enjoy that figure a lot. I'll probably sell it, probably. I don't know. And then next up we have this Custom Elite Dolph Ziggler from 2016 as well, made by Showstopper Custom Figs with the custom head scan. I really, really love this head scan. He has the hair pulled back into the ponytail 
and down look. I really like this look a lot. And then the attire is his standard SmackDown Live attire. Nothing special about the attire, but I really, really like this head scan. And then we have this custom Roman Reigns that I made myself. It is from Fastlane 2017. I really like this a lot. Uh, it's when he forgot his boots or whatever happened where he wore the Nike um, tennis shoes and it looks really really nice. I love the white and I even have the design on the back here and then the white stuff on the gauntlets. Love this figure a lot. I know a lot of people hate Roman Reigns but I am actually a fan. Here we have this custom WrestleMania 21 Money in the Bank winning edge and I love this a lot from Showstopper Custom Figs. He even has the Money in the Bank briefcase but just take a moment right here and look at this design on the side. He hand painted this and hand painted this. Same design, symmetrical on both sides. I don't know how he did it, but he also sculpted the boot flaps on there like Edge had back in the day with the graphic as well. This figure is really, really nice. A lot of detail in that figure. Probably one of my favorites in my entire collection. Next we have this Custom Elite Leo Rush, and I think it is been said that he has signed with NXT and if that is true that is amazing this was by BW Animations all I did was supply the formula for it, but he hand painted all the tattoos on there except for the torso and then did the white attire because white is my favorite color next we have this custom elite Goldberg made by Beast Nation 2007 very good friend of mine also very very nice on his customs he knows what he's doing very underrated it is a hillbilly gym torso with um, Hillbilly Jim arms I believe as well and then some Austin lower legs and then some Undertaker gloves I believe but this thing is really really clean probably one of the best Goldberg customs that I have seen next we have a Showstopper Custom Elite Dolph Ziggler Money in the Bank very very nice headliner right there on the trunks as well as the sparkle design and then of course the Money in the Bank briefcase but I love this figure a lot one of the first customs that I got from Showstopper. Next we have another one from Showstopper Custom Figs. That is this 2000 era Triple H with the graphic on there. Uh, you will also see a lot of Triple H's in this video, but I really enjoy this attire. One of my uh, favorite time periods of Triple H's career. Next we have probably my favorite Dolph Ziggler, and that is the... I think Money in the Bank 2016 Dolph Ziggler and I really enjoy this figure. I love the color scheme and design. Same thing with the Extreme Rules, but the blue and black look really good in my opinion and I think this is the very first figure I ever got from Showstopper. Next we have a figure that I made and that is this Custom Elite Zack Ryder. Very glad that Mattel showed us that we are getting a Battleground 2016 Zack Ryder Elite, but I really enjoy this figure. Um, I wanted him to have the Dolph Ziggler torso and some bigger shoulders and arms because they made his elite look like Daniel Bryan and you know as well as I do that Zack Ryder is jacked. Next up we have this custom elite Shelton Benjamin also made by me and that is a Kofi Kingston elite totally from head to toe with 123 kid uh, kick pads that I repainted and then the Shelton, ba uh, Shelton Benjamin basic head skin with painted hair. Up next we have an updated Chris Jericho Elite with the tattoos on there as well. I did not know we were getting that list Jericho so I went ahead and made my own version of it. It has the goatee and facial hair painted on there as well as the scarf and vest with his nice tattoos on there from Curb Stomp. Up next we have this Custom Elite Club made by me as well. The Carl Anderson is a Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite with some Bo Dallas lower legs and then the Battle Pack knee pads and some decals on there even the tattoo is included and then Luke Gallows is an undertaker with Luke Gallows arms and head and then I just painted the pants and uh, the overlay at the top and then the boots as well then next up we have this custom elite Bobby Lashley from Brock Lock I think this custom is really really nice I don't even know the parts used I do know it's in a deluxe aggression Bobby Lashley head and then I have this custom shirt thrown on there, but I think this works really, really well for Bobby Lashley. Next, we have this custom Kenny Omega, which was also made by me. It is a Daniel Bryan head scan, DDP hairpiece with the Macho Man TNF uh, torso and body with some... I forget what lower legs these are, but I really enjoy this custom a lot. I didn't think that I could make a pretty nice looking Kenny Omega, but I'm very pleased with that one. 
Then up next we have another custom made by me, and that is this updated Seth Rollins. Very glad that we are getting that TNF one at Walmart. Very excited to have that one, but this one was a placeholder until that one came out, and it has done its job well. And then I put the custom shirt on there. Up next we have this custom Elite Revival. Very happy to do these. I think this they are both Tully Blanchard, and then I removed the decals and put the Battle Pack arms on both. And then, of course, the head scans and then the lower legs from the Battle Pack are on there as well. Up next is another Custom Elite Edge, and that is this one from New Year's Revolution 2006 when he cashed in on John Cena. I love this attire. I hope Mattel makes another one like this attire, but with red kick pads. These are his older kick pads that he was wearing during that moment with the flaps as well with the edge and the flame design on there. I love this figure a lot. I think that it is probably one of my favorite custom edges in my collection as well. And then we have this custom Elite Royal Rumble 2016 Triple H that I made myself. I actually did a tutorial on how to make this custom if you want to check that video out. The, the link is in the description below. But had to put the title on there as well. I loved that moment because nobody saw that coming. I thought Roman Reigns was for sure going to win, but he did not. Up next, we have this Stone Cold Steve Austin. Basically, it's just the Hall of Fame uh, Stone Cold, but it has this custom shirt on there, which I think is awesome. And then we have another one right here with the other custom shirt with a chain. And then one more, third time's the charm. We have this Stone Cold with the custom chain and shirt on there as well with white knee braces. Love all three of those Stone Colds. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so I just load up my Stone Cold collection. Continuing on, we have this Ty Dillinger Custom Elite. BW made this head scan, and I threw it on a, I think, Daniel Bryan body with uh, some sort of lower legs on there as well. But I enjoy this custom a lot. Perfect logo right there with the blue. I hope we get a Ty, I hope that Ty Dillinger Elite releases soon. Up next, we have a Custom Elite Prince Devitt from New Japan has the Bullet Club t-shirt on there with the mouth cover and then um, it's a Cody Rhodes torso and thighs with basic CM Punk lower legs very easy Bullet Club debit and it is a Chinese shirt so it has the decal on the back no velcro needed on that one next we have this promo attire edge without the beanie on there custom shirt on the Dean Ambrose Elite 41 body edge basic arms and head scan I love this head scan a lot I need a beanie for that to uh, complete the edge but up next we have this Custom Elite debut, Chris Jericho. I just threw the head scan and arms on a Daniel Bryan with the entrance great shirts, uh, shirt and pants. That, sh uh, that figure also brings back a lot of memories. Then you have this updated current Cesaro Elite fix up. I don't know what arms these are, I just found them in my fodder band, but then I threw the Bo Dallas lower legs and Eddie Guerrero boots on this with uh, some knee pads and there you go updated Cesaro Elite. Next we have this Undertaker fix up which I think is the best Undertaker that you can have in your collection. Very standard but very nice. It's around that era of like 2005 type era Undertaker. Really love this figure a lot. I just think that head scan is just so so nice. It looks just like Undertaker from that time. Up next we have a promo Brock Lesnar with the Suplex City GameStop exclusive shirt. I cut the sleeves off, threw some pants on there and there you go. A, I also changed out the head scan because you know that that head scan that came on that exclusive was absolutely terrible. Up next we have a simple Dean Ambrose fix up and that is just the Shane McMahon battle pack head on the Elite 48 which I think is very a very effective um, updated Dean Ambrose. Up next we have this legend killer Randy Orton which I made way before Elite 47 came out but it's the SummerSlam Heritage basic arms and head on an Elite 35 and then I removed the tattoos around up here You know that updated sh uh, shading that he has I took that off and um, Very glad they released Elite 47 though and then next we have this updated Braun Strowman that BEW made me I did not think we were gonna get an updated head scan for a while so I went ahead and got him to make me that and then We have these Fix up DX Elites, Walgreens exclusive, Shawn Michaels on the left with the 2K15 lower arms on there, and the head scan as well with the hat backwards and custom shirt, and then the Elite 7 Triple H with a head swap and t-shirt as well. I think this DX works very, very nicely. I'm very excited to pick up the Walgreens exclusive Triple H. 
Up next we have the last diva and that is this rated R custom elite Lita that Showstopper custom figs made based off the WrestleMania 22 attire when Edge fought Mick Foley in that Extreme Rules match where he, you know, speared him through the on fire table. Love that figure a lot. Then we have this 2004-2005 era Triple H which I absolutely love by Showstopper custom figs. This is probably my favorite era of Triple H, honestly. You have the uh, handlebar mustache sculpted on this head scan, which makes this head scan 100 times better. He even has the decals on the boots and the World Heavyweight Championship, because when was Triple H not champion during that time? Then we have this Custom Elite Jeff Hardy that was made by me and Brock Lock, mostly Brock Lock, though. You have this custom head scan on and then he even painted up the entire torso with all his tattoos but I'm not gonna remove all these shirts but he has this uh, black wife beating shirt on that is black and stretchy very nice it is not velcro and then you have these custom arms on there I went with the gray and green this one even glows in the dark and then we went with shield crotch and upper legs and then some sort of lower legs with Tyson Kidd kick pad feet but I really dig this Jeff Hardy a lot um, one of the best Jeff Hardys that I have seen then next we have this WrestleMania 19 Triple H where he fought Booker T at WrestleMania with the purple attire. Really like this figure a lot. He even has the clean shaven. I think this is one of the best Triple H head scans as well. But he removed the beard and then of course he was World Heavyweight Champion at that time so we threw the title on there. And now we will end the video with nine straight Holy Grail figures of my custom collection. Starting off first with this Kurt Angle by Showstopper Custom Figs. All of these last nine are made by him but he has the medals here. Those are very nice. One of them broke off, but, you know, I can super glue that, no problem. But very nice to even include those. But look at those stripes, just so clean, so straight, so precise, even the stars. Every time I look at this figure, I am amazed. Then a Prince Devitt that we have right here is the Venom Prince Devitt. Just so clean. Again, if you look at the teeth and the tongue, and all of the paint apps are so clean on these. And they are absolutely ridiculous. White outsoles just tops it off. So clean. Next is the Spawn Prince Devitt, and it just blows my mind every single time I look at them, it, just how clean the paint is. It looks factory made. Every single one of them looks factory made. Up next we have this Punisher Prince Devitt, my favorite Marvel character. That's why I love this attire so much, and the skull on the face. And I have reviewed five of these eight. I have not finished those reviews, but... um. If you would like to see any of these reviewed, I will leave all the links in the description below to all of these full figure reviews of these Balors. Up next we have the Heath Ledger Joker Prince Devitt. They, he even sculpted the uh, rips on the face like Heath Ledger had on him during the Dark Knight movie. And then you have the text on the back which is so accurate and so nice. Armani Exchange detail in t uh, tights and then the white outsoles as well. Up next we have the Freddy Krueger Balor, or Devitt as I should say, which is so nice. even has the Freddy Krueger hat and sweater with the details on there. I'm not going to take this off, but um, it does have the text on the back as you can see down there. I have a full figure review on this. Like I said, the link is in the description below to see any of these fully reviewed. Um, I think I've done five of them. I still have yet to get all of those finished, but I will do that eventually. Here we have the Anti-Venom. I have not reviewed this one, but it is just so nice. The white, like I've said before, is my favorite color. So this attire is very, very nice to me because the white and the black contrast just looks so clean. The blue on the black, uh, the back there, and the white kick pads, just everything is so clean from Showstopper Custom Figs. That's why I always go to him for all of my custom work. Next we have this Carnage Prince Devitt from Wrestle Kingdom 11. Just again, the face detail is incredible. And the paint out, I don't know how he gets it so clean and so detailed. It's such small detail. I don't know how he gets it that clean, but he does, and he amazes me every single time. And um, this attire is very, very complex, and I don't know how he did it, but he did, and it just looks incredible, like I've said so many times before in this video. But, I mean, what else do you say? It just looks so amazing. And now for the final figure of the video, probably my favorite figure in my collection is this NXT TakeOver The End Finn Balor, where he fought Samoa Joe in the first ever NXT Steel Cage match. This figure is ridiculous. Look at the detail in the teeth. And I just love this attire so much. The gray, black, and white, how it contrasts this sleeve, just everything about it. The teeth on all the designs. 
the white outsoles, all of it ties together so beautifully, so nice. Um, that is going to do it for my custom collection, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Very glad to do an updated one of these. Please subscribe for more epic WWE figure-related videos. Like this video. Comment down below what your favorite figure from this video was. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so very much.